revenue last year was $730 million. The Big 12's was 409. So if you can't beat them from a fiscal perspective, maybe join them. Trap house. What up, big homie? Your boy Big Trap is on the rumor mill. The votes have spoken and the streets are talking. But your boy Big Trap is quite conservative when it comes to cooking up the content. We believe in facts over feelings. Evaluation before emotion. So how did we even get here, bro? Because just over a week ago, OU's president pledged commitment to the Big 12 stakeholders over a conference call about the progress of a college football playoff expansion when conference realignment came up. But your boy Big Trap also has heard via the grapevine at the Houston Chronicle when they confirmed that it was Texas that made the initial reaching out to the Southeastern Conference with that inquiry of admission and expansion. Now I'm not saying that it's not possible that OU wasn't making moves via back channels, but like I said, Big Trap traps in fact, not in conjecture. Just the facts, man. Just the facts. The good people down at CBS Sports reported that it was the school in Austin's regent chair behind the initial power move, or as Cardi would say, money move. At the end of the day, bro, we know it's all about those dead presidents. In order for this move to even take place, 11 schools from the conference would have to vote yay on the acceptance of two new programs entering the SEC for expansion of the conference. Another hurdle to mitigate would also be the conference TV deals that don't expire until 2025. So Texas and its Texas network, they would be in a bit of a pickle as far as owing TV rights to the Big 12, or they would have to lawyer up and deal with a lawsuit from the conference after the conference sues. Sue for what? I'm not gonna lie, bro. Your boy Big Trap is truly on the fence with this one. Do I feel like we have outgrown the Big 12 on a competition level? Yes. For the better part of the last decade as I grow older, two things are pretty much a given, and it's pretty much expected. One, Taco Bell gives me the runs, and two, OU will be in Jerry's world, hoisting the conference trophy. Do I feel like the move to the SEC will help OU in recruiting? Yes, I feel that as well. Like, do I feel that the vibe of going to a road game in the SEC, especially a place like LSU, in prime time, will it be lit? Will it be the cat's pajamas? Of course I do. But your boy Big Trap is a creature of habit. And I love habitually beating the brakes off of Baylor, Gundy's gang, and the rest of the conference. But this heart don't pump no Kool-Aid, homie. As long as I got the big homie A-double-R, we can strap it up, get the zebras, put on the whistles, put the ball down, and let's clash, bro. Now that I think about it, man, you know what I despise? that snobbish attitude they have in that sec fan base so if it happens and it's probably gonna happen your boy big trap will be ready to lead that charge but as of now your boy big trap is gonna dance with the girl i brought to the prom i want that big 12 chip but i want that natty even more delusions of grandeur was never my cup of tea you know what i'm saying so let's remain focused bro and march on March on down the field. Big 12. SEC. Don't matter to me. Horns down. Boomer sooner. Trap house.